Hey guys, my cell phone is wobbling, <laughs> wobbling again, and it sometimes loses its focus. So, hi again, it's Rose from the Philippines, and I'm here now for the tag of the questions nobody asks tag. So, I've written all of the questions, and there are 41. 41 of this. So, most of them I've answered and some I didn't. So, I'm going to answer it one by one just from the the answer that comes out from my mind. So, the first one is, do you go by a nickname? My nickname is Rose, as you all know. But, my cousin <laughs> my, my cousin he calls me Barorong. I don't know why. He just made it up. And so, he calls me Barorong. And second one is, when driving, do you listen to CDs, tapes, radio, or nothing? And my answer is, I don't know how to drive, so I don't know. But whenever I get into a car, I really wanted to listen to music. But sometimes, I wanted to listen to the stories of my, of the passengers that are with me in the car. The third one is, are you a window person or an aisle person? So, this is a question when you ride a, an airplane. And my answer would be, I didn't, I haven't ridden any airplane before. But my answer would, would be the aisle. I don't know why. <laughs> Just to make it different, because uh, Marius, he likes to be on the window side. So my question, my answer is, I wanted to be on the aisle side. My, the fourth is, how do you relieve stress? Uh, this is kind of difficult to do, but recently I've been listening to songs that is kind of harmonious. So, whenever I listen to it, I rest for a while. So, it somewhat relieves me, relieves the stress that I'm feeling. And maybe sometimes, I go to Luneta Park just to unwind. The fifth question is, what's your favorite childhood TV show? Hmm. When I was young, my grandmother, she used to watch an entertainment show. So, maybe that is one. And, and that's entertainment. Here in the Philippines, that's what it's called. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> I wanted a teacher to be... I wanted to be uh, some kind of teacher. But I don't know what subject I want to... Maybe English? <laughs> So that's my dream when I was young. And as I grew up, it became different. When I was a teenager, I wanted to be a writer. So, it's kind of different from what I'm doing now. The seventh is, what was the best prank you ever pulled off? I haven't really made a prank before. Maybe I did, but it wasn't a best prank as you may call it so i think i don't have any maybe i should think about it <laughs> think about it more the eighth is if you could have dinner with any three people whom would you choose i need to have dinner with my best friends but they have to treat me <laughs> so those might be my friends from before from each zone, but I'm going to meet them next week, so it wouldn't be, it would be great meeting them again. The ninth question, if, if you can get back an article of clothing you once wore, was, what would it be? That would be the hooded shirt that I had before when I was younger. It is my favorite, and I don't know where it is now. But I like that shirt very much. 
And I think I born it in Baguio before. The tenth is, if you could hire any actor to portray you in a movie, who would you choose? My answer would be an old actor from the Philippines. And her name is Donna Cruz. And I really love her voice, her singing voice, but she has not been an actor recently. Just way back. And she's kind of cute in a way. If you could play any instrument, which would you play? I think I want to play the violin. But I have... I kind of can play the guitar somewhat. And some stuff from the piano. But not that grand. So I think I wanted to try a violin. If you could hear anyone in history to give a speech, whom would you hear? Speech. Maybe Mother Teresa. So I can get inspired from her. If you could live in one city for the rest of your life, where would it be? I haven't been in any city for a long time. So I guess I want to be I want to still be here in Manila. Or maybe Cebu. <laughs> I don't know. If you could make any fictional character come to life, which would it be? When I heard this question from the other podcasters, my first answer is Garfield. I don't know why, but I changed my answer into Daria from the cartoon of MTV because she's kinda cool or maybe her friend Jane she's cool too when you were a kid what did you dress up as for for Halloween we don't have any Halloween here but I wanted to be a witch of some kind because it is pretty famous there in the US I want it to be a witch and maybe scare some passers-by. <laughs> Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? They are mostly closed because I don't want them open. <laughs> if you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? Hmm. That is kind of difficult to answer. Maybe Ami from Sailor Moon. If you like, if you have been watching Sailor Moon, there's a character there named Ami. She's called Sailor Mercury. So that is what that's my answer. Number eighteen. Do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? No. But if given the chance, I would because it's free. And you have to use it somewhat. So, I wanted to get it because it's really. Have you stolen a street sign before? No. Do you sleep with your street sheets tucked in or out? No. Because it's not that cold here, so I don't do that. And sometimes I really don't use any blanket. Because it's kind of hot sometimes. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I remember you guys go for the big bear. And I heard someone, she is going to play dead. And see if the big bear falls for it. So it's kind of a cool answer. But I'm kind of scared of the big bears, so I'm going for the swarm of bees instead. Do you always smile for pictures? No, not always. Maybe if I'm prompted to smile, I will always smile, but sometimes I don't because, yeah, I just don't. <laughs> Sorry for my answers. This is kind of random. In a way, but I read all of these questions 
have you feed in the woods? Hmm. I have feed on some places but not in the woods because I think it's kind of scary if I feed on in the woods on my own. <laughs> what size is your bed? I think my bed is just a single type. Single type bed. What was the best concert you ever attended? When we were younger, my cousin, she brought us to this concert of Mariah Carey. So she was in the Philippines and we saw her. And it's kind of cool watching her concert. What is your song of the week? Actually, this has been my song for months now. It's been I've been singing this ever since I've heard the version of what's your name? This is a singer that I really love the version, but that is Somewhere Over the Ring. And that I have been singing that for a while. And I've also written it and memorized it so I can sing it properly. I think the name is Eva Cassidy. She has a different version of that in silly harmonics in a way. They still watch cartoons. Recently, I haven't been seeing any cartoons. Maybe sometimes when we were at the hospital, the kids are watching cartoons. So I watch it with them. And there's this one cartoon that I have been interested in. It is called... What is it called? Gravity Falls. So they have a finale of it and it's kind of interesting. So I think that's the one cartoon that I have watched so ever since. Number 28. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper? If a card is... I have wrote a card for a friend recently. So, if it's okay, it's not a letter, but I wrote on it. So, I think it's recently. How many languages can you speak? I only have two languages that I can speak. And that is Tagalog and English. And I'm not that, I'm not that fluent with English. But, I guess I'm not really that fluent speaking in Tagalog either. It's okay. This, I'm finding it hard to communicate in Tagalog sometimes. I lose the words also. So it's kind of fair with English. Do you believe in ghosts? Kinda no. And kinda yes in a way. I guess I haven't seen a ghost, but maybe they exist, maybe they are not. What was your first concert? The first concert that I have been is also with my cousins. They went to Boys to Men concert, Boys to Men, and they came with me. They asked me to go with them, so I went. And boys and men's voices are kind of cool also. Cheetos or Fritos? I don't know what Fritos is, but I have eaten Cheetos. So I guess Cheetos. Can you curl your tongue? I can curl my tongue. <laughs> Ever won a spelling bee? No, because I haven't joined any spelling bee. Own a record player. A record player. My papa, he has a record player. But it's not mine. So I think the answer is no. Who would you like to see in concert? Hmm. I guess Cowboy Junkie. I wanted to hear the song Angel Mind from them. But they are an old band. But I guess they are... I could consider them. Sugar cookies or sneaker doodles? I don't know what they are, but sugar cookies sounds good. 
Can you swim well? Not really. <laughs> I can float well, but I don't swim well. I'm kind of scared of swimming in the ocean or the sea where it is very, very deep. But when it is four feet, it's okay. Are you patient? Not always. DJ or band at the wedding? I think a DJ in a wedding would be cool. Ever won a contest? Yes, I won a contest from my school before. I think it's a drawing contest of some kind. Do you have kids? No. Do you want kids or have more kids? For now, I guess not because I am full with my nephews and nieces. So that's my answers. And that's 43 questions all in all. So I'm hoping to post this and I'm hoping that it's okay to post it. And I just want to share the things that I'm making and just two items. Because I have to buy the black yarn for Harry Potter. This is going to be for Mikol. <laughs> he is bald. <laughs> and he's kind of cute. And I have to finish this soon. Because I really wanted to uh, get this done. So this is the Garter Stitch Slouchy that has 110 cast on. Still have to make more because the customer wants it slouchy. But I'm hoping, cross fingers, that this yarn will be enough for it and for the crown. Then I'm going to make the diagonal design. So that's it from me. Bye for now.